welcome to Fitz on Flicks. I'm Fitz, this is my friend Murph. Angels. That's right, movie about angels. No, movie about angels. Angels and Demons oh, is the movie we saw starring Tom Hanks, Ewan McGregor, directed by Ron Howard. Murph, what's this movie about? Did you like it? Should I tell the people? Go ahead, tell them. All right, I'll do my best. So, uh, movie starts out, the Pope has died. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Pope, he's the head of the Catholic Church. Um, pretty powerful guy, but not prone to not dying. And he dies. So um, they need to get a new pope. So they get this thing called the conclave. For those of you familiar with that religion, they do this thing called the conclave where all the head cardinals and priests from around the world get together and they decide who the new pope is going to be. Well, while this is going on, a group called the Illuminati, did I say that Illuminati. right? Illuminati. Mm. Illuminati uh, show up and they kidnap the four people who are probably most likely to be the new popes. They kidnap them and they threaten that they're going to kill one of them an hour and then once that's up then they're going to blow up the whole Vatican City and all these Catholics and all the priests and it's going to just be a bad day. So what do the Catholics do? They call up their, basically other than the devil, their worst enemy, um, a guy by the name of Robert Langdon who is played by Tom Hanks. If you saw the Da Vinci Code, you know Robert Langdon, he just loves to mess with the Catholics and just, he, he pokes them. He just, he messes with them, he ruins all their things, so there's no reason, they don't, they hate this guy, but they say, hey, let's call our worst enemy to solve this mm -hmm. problem. Robert Langdon says, all right, I got nothing else going on. So he comes to Italy, and basically that's the movie. It's, uh, it's Tom Hanks, along with the help of this other lady, her name is, ah, uh, Victoria. Victoria, it doesn't even, she's not even that important. And they have to basically find out who, who these Illuminati are, where the priests are, also just as important, where is this bomb, which is made out of antimatter, where is it, how can they stop it, because damn it, they, we don't want things blowing up. Murph, what did you think of this movie? Did you like it? I don't I didn't hate it, I didn't love it. First, I just want to say, Ron Howard, I thought he did a great job. Um, maybe it could have worked on the, the script a little bit more, because it seemed like this is based on a book, by Dan Brown, hate books. and it seemed like they tried to cram too much without explaining a lot. Like mm -hmm. Robert Langdon, um, you wouldn't have known that he had a problem with with the Catholic Church, or the Catholic Church had a problem with him, unless you had seen the Da Vinci Code or read the book. I thought that you would have been lost. You would have been like, huh? You well, know you, I, mean? well, I think you you know that he has a problem. You don't know what the problem is. Right. They don't ever say what he did in the Da Vinci Code. You do get that the Catholic Church hates this guy. So but he, again, you, wanna, you, you, you just have know to. Why. You do yeah. want to know why, if you, I would imagine. You know, I'd seen the Da Vinci Code, you had, but I would imagine right. I hadn't. I don't want to know why, but whatever. Mm -hmm. But it was it was action packed. I was, it was suspenseful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but there were some certain parts where Robert Langdon would would take a you know a, a tomb of somebody and figure out that it, it moved and it was there and now it's here and but wait we got to go there and then follow the arrow and do all this. It was pretty comical actually. Seen them come to these conclusions. It, well, it was kind of you know it, it was pretty ridiculous. I thought that the you would get somebody to come halfway around the world again, your worst enemy, but halfway around the world to help you solve these problems because you have all these cops and detectives over there, and the clues he discovered and the ways he discovered how to get to the next situation, whatever. Mm -hmm. The clues are just way too easy. I mean, literally, it was like we're looking for a sign in this room, and then they're like, wait a minute, look at the one statue in the room, and it's pointing in that direction we should probably have to go in that direction. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what all the clues were in this entire movie. They were things that were so beyond, I mean, you know, high school, anybody, junior higher, an elementary mm -hmm. could come up with this. A preschooler could probably, not a preschooler, but anybody could basically come up with these clues. I could have got flown out there. They didn't even have to call him. Well, I, well they needed experienced symbologist. You I, know what I mean? There were certain things that you couldn't have figured out. Like the secret Galileo book. You couldn't have figured out the little thing in the scene. Turns out, my favorite book. <laughs> uh, but anyway, no, you know what? The other thing, I mean, so listen. I know you guys suspend belief uh, sometimes when you're watching some things. Um, take 24, for example. It's a TV show. You guys suspend your belief of what you can get done in the course of an hour sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you can put that you know, suspension of belief aside. And you can enjoy a program. This... Um, it, what they were able to accomplish in short amounts of time, you know, very tiny bits of time, uh, it was almost so ridiculous, it, I think that itself almost ruined the movie, um, ruined the movie for mm -hmm. me. It, it, it got pretty ridiculous after a while. Um, and while the performances were good, I don't think all the characters were as well written out as they could have mm -hmm. been, um, which I don't know if that falls on the screenwriters or on Dan Brown. I didn't read the book. Um, I think that the book is longer. 
and you can probably fit more in. Mm -hmm. So okay. So, so I would say the screenwriters probably. Uh, well, now I know who to be mad at. So screenwriters, so whatever. This this movie, I, I I didn't dig this movie. The, I mean, the longest short of it was I didn't dig this movie. Um, you know, it, it, there were moments that yeah were a little thrilling, moments that were suspenseful. Mm -hmm. The acting, again, it was good, but I think the movie just had too many problems. Um, everything just kind of fell together way too neat, perhaps, mm -hmm. at the end. Uh, they tried to be clever, and it was a good attempt, but I thought it was just everything felt together just a little bit too convenient for everyone oh. involved. I really liked the end. I thought the ending was awesome. There was one part of the ending just was stupid, but overall I thought the ending kind of saved the movie a little bit. Mm. I'm not saying go out and you know race to the theater and, and, and see it. Maybe wait for it for DVD, but for the most part it was enjoyable. I think um, I think we'll be doing everyone a disservice if we said to see it, so I'm saying don't see it. Not fun, not a good time. Um, you know, DVD. Maybe on DVD, it's worth checking out. Mm -hmm. Definitely don't pay your money and go see this in the theater. Um, so, that's, I guess, basically about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying don't see it. I'm saying go see it. And, um, yeah, but I'm saying see us. Check us out on fitsonflix.com. We will talk to you soon. And uh, you have yourself a good week. Take care. Bye-bye.